the highly controversial anti-homosexuality matter returns to parliament when the MP Dr. James Nsababutulo seeks leave of the House to retable the bill next week. The State Minister for Ethics and Integrity, Simon Lokodo, says he is handling against persons engaged in acts of homosexuality. On homosexuality, I am strong, firm, determined. That is why I will never stand the situation of an homosexual exhibiting himself, recruiting and, you know, canvassing people to come and join them. I have never left one single meeting of homosexuals to continue. In 2014, Parliament passed the Anti-Homosexuality Bill, which was assented to by President Yoweri Museveni. The Constitutional Court later annulled the law on technicality. The principle and policy is that a law must be passed with at least two-thirds of quorum of Parliament. That law, unfortunately, didn't have that quorum, and on that basis it was botched. But now it is coming back, and members of Parliament are determined to come in big numbers and ensure that that law is put in place. Can somebody be homosexual purely by nature, without nurture? The answer is no. The reason I thought so was because I could not understand why a man could fail to be attracted to the beauties of a woman and instead be attracted to a fellow man. That is a very, very serious matter. Ndroa West MP now, State Minister for Finance, David Bahati, was the mover of the anti-homosexuality bill in October 2009. The bill prescribed tough penalties like life imprisonment for aggravated homosexual on minors while HIV positive and seven years in jail for attempting to commit homosexuality. Jingo Francis, NTV.